describe it collectively as a group, uh, positive attributes, maybe negative, if there are any? Yeah, I think this Utah Rawls FC group is going to be a hard-working, um, dynamic group who want to make the game difficult for the opposition to break us down. Um, and we want to put, put on a show in the end. I think we want to try and keep the ball and play good soccer, uh, build through the thirds, and hopefully score as many goals as we possibly can. How excited are you that the opener is finally here, the preseason is over, it's time to just play? Yeah, I'm excited for it. I think Orlando's a really tough place to go for the first game, but um, I think it will be a really good evaluation of where we're at right now and things that we need to keep pushing and working on. I think I've said a lot, you know, having a having the preseason the way it was this year was tough, especially with a new team. Um, and going into Orlando, it would be hard to think that we're going to be exactly where we want to be, but going there is going to give us a really good evaluation of where we're at. What are your maybe goals for Saturday? Uh, are there specific things you are looking to see on? Yeah, I want three points. That's <laughs> my aim. Is three points. I think you know if you away from home on the East Coast, um, it's due to be super hot. So I think coming away with there with a point right now, I'd take it. But I think I always go into every game trying to win. I think that we've just got to make sure we make it really difficult for them. Um, they're going to want to put on a show, I'm sure, with their home opener. So we've got to probably take the wave of that um, and just keep staying in the game for as long as we possibly can and try and catch a break wherever possible um, and put pressure on them whenever we possibly can and put, put the ball in the back of the net and make sure that we're really difficult to break down at the back. This is not a typical expansion team. You have a lot of talent, a mm -hmm. lot of national players. Um, yeah. Do you expect to compete right away even though you are an expansion team? I think you have to think like that. I think the tough thing this year is just the amount of time we've had together. It's been super limited. Um, and the fact that I'm a new coach with this team is tough. I think that I play a, a little bit of a different style to the previous coach. So the way I'm asking them to defend and the things I'm asking them to do is a little bit different. So we're working through that. And I think uh, Saturday is going to be a great evaluation of that. What about, what about in terms of Yeah, they going to California last week and being around each other for a whole week was a was a great thing I think for the group uh, just for us to all get to know each other a little bit more and work together as a as players on the field and off it um, has meant that you know you can already see relationships forming um, on the field which is great and working out some of their attributes off the field so that we can get the right dynamic when we go out there. Through your career, you've brought a bunch of international players. What sort of leg up does that give you? I think from an Orlando perspective, they're not going to know what we're going to look like because we, we don't know what we're going to look like. Um, I think you know, it's having players that haven't played in the league before. They're just not going to know what they're going to give. And uh, thankfully, we've been able to see them in training and see what they can bring to a team. So I'm excited to finally put uh, something out on the field that um, I think we're going to be proud of. Are you worried at all about the jarring transition from European style play for so many of these guys? I think for the trans, it's, it's difficult for European players initially, just in terms of how they have to deal with the, how quick this this league is. Um, but they're good players for a reason, so it might take them a half, twenty minutes to work it out. But they'll soon realise that uh, it's difficult to play in this league. Was it difficult for you personally to keep Taylor Isom? off the opening day roster being that she just grew up down the road uh -huh. um, but I guess you know she's gonna have her phone on and yep. on call whenever you need her right? yeah Taylor's gonna be within our group she just won't travel that's the only thing she's not gonna do so everything else to do with this team she'll be part of it um, same with EJ so I think that's that's something that we have to make sure we invest in those people um, this is a long season 24 games in such a packed schedule means that I have no doubt there'll be some point this season that we call upon them have you had a chance to appreciate, I mean, you're in the day-to-day -day operation, but appreciate the historical significance of this, the first, uh, you know, women's professional, I mean, really the second professional league in Utah history, for uh -huh. women, um, and what this journey is about to mean to a lot of people? Yeah, obviously the um, community has embraced us, and, you know, I remember going to pick up my Xfinity box or whatever, and I had three fans stop me in the middle of the store, which is unheard of for me. Um, so you just know that there's a lot of excitement around it and I've always said from day one it's our job now to put a product on the field that they can be proud of. Obviously what Deloitte's been able to bring with the locker room and all that has been cool for you guys. Is there 
is he able to push the league forward with stuff like that? Though? Yeah, I think Deloy will change this league in a positive way. Um, I think it will take him time. I think it will take us time to be exactly what we want to be on the field, as well as it's going to take him time to make the league exactly what he wants it to look like. But we've made such huge strides so quickly um, that I have no doubt that he's going to make a huge impact on those people. Is that just setting a example here or is there stuff he can do behind the scenes yeah he 100 percent is has a voice on that board um and a voice that people want to listen to um and will appreciate because of what he's invested in here for sure any bitter feelings between you and amy rodriguez or is it just a clean <laughs> slate between no you we've two? had the banter she's had she's had the jokes on me about scoring the goals it's over a <laughs> rod is over right just score them for us she just wants to win amy's a winner um she's played two seasons in this league out of five and won both so I want that trend to continue. Can you pronounce Gunny's full name or do you just call nah, it Gunny? Gunny. It's just Gunny. <laughs> it's just Gunny. Just Gunny. <laughs> Health wise, Amy Amy's one of them coming off of surgery and you've got yep. a couple other players who came kind of came into camp her Becky mm -hmm. and Barney and them. Are you guys healthy, happy, everything good there or we're close to full fitness. We've got a few question marks. Um, Kelly and Becky are actually coming both off injuries. Um, so I think they have a chance of being okay for Saturday. Uh, but it's still touch and go on that one. Do you have an 11 who, or is that still? No, it's still ongoing. Um, and I think that's, it's scary, but it's exciting that I can't put my finger on there the pulse right now to say this would be the starting 11 if we were pl to play tomorrow. Um, the girls have given so much sharp pre-season that they're all putting themselves in a picture to have a starting spot, which is nice. I want to circle back to international players because obviously have so many. What do you look for you. in an, a player who's overseas to, that you think will translate to this league? I think they have to be able to compete physically and athletically. That's the first one. Um, after that, and Gunny's a great example of this. Um, after that, it's what attributes can they bring that we don't already have? Um, I don't believe in just bringing an international player over for the sake of it. I think they've got to give something a little bit different than what you could get from the college draft from a trade. Um, and I think they've either got to be a goal scorer, they've either got to um, add something within your midfield that's dynamic that you don't already have, um, which is Gunny. Um, or add some experience um, and some knowledge of what it takes to play in a back line, like Rachel as an example. Um, so I, I think purposely about the internationals. I don't just go out and get whatever I can find. Um, but I think the two biggies are, can they handle the athleticism of this league? Can you expand a little bit more about, um, they said the first five years was about survival, now yep. it's about thriving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for the first five years of this league, after what had happened with the WPS, it was always about can we make sure this NWSL league survives? Um, and now as a collective, we all want the same thing, which is now to push it onto another level and make it thrive across the country and, and internationally as well. And I think everybody who's in the league wants that. We've just got to make sure we get on the same page of how we can get there. Have you been surprised about the reaction, or maybe not surprised at 8,000 tickets? Uh... Probably. I mean, already sold 4,000 season tickets. Yeah. It's been pretty successful. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Um, I think getting the season ticket holders in means that there's committed fans, which is great. Um, I've always said retention's not the issue in this league. It's always about getting the, the voice out there and making people know that we exist because I believe that the product that we put on the field is something that people want to see. What is that next step to move towards thriving? I think fan base, keep it... Uh, bringing in more revenue for each team and once we get more revenue then we can spend more of it <laughs> spend more of the owners money once we bring them more in um, and raise the salary cap on the both ends from the minimum and the maximum level so we can keep attracting the best players in the world